Intro to Cursive Writing, 4 Benefits to Learn Cursive Hey YouTube friends, my name is Anna B. Welcome to Bonafide Path, where creative people come for healing and inspiration. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get started with today's video. Not too long ago, I heard that cursive handwriting will no longer be taught in schools. I was heartbroken. So whether you love it or hate it, cursive handwriting will soon enough become a rare skill that many of us will not have. You either see it as a lost art as I do, a needless skill as others might, or you don't really care either way, as I'm sure many people belong in this last group. With that said, here are four common benefits to learning how to write in cursive if you choose to ever dive into learning it. The first benefit is for the purpose of art and creativity. It is a lost art, as we discussed earlier, since it's no longer in the school curriculums. For artists, the need to draw and fine-tune that muscle memory on a daily basis is crucial for the development of our artistic skills. Cursive handwriting, in a daily journal for example, is an excellent way to get in that time to practice when you don't have the time or motivation to do actual art drawings. All that practice will give you a higher quality signature since cursive writing is more aesthetically appealing. It can improve the attractiveness, legibility, and fluidity of one's signature. The second benefit is that it improves brain health. There are cognitive and visual benefits to children learning cursive. Learning to write in cursive is shown to improve their brain development in areas of thinking, language, and working memory. There are improved neural connections. It stimulates the brain in ways that typing cannot. It also improves the dynamic interplay of the left and right cerebral hemispheres and helps improve neural pathways, increasing mental effectiveness. The third benefit is that it helps improve reading and writing skills. When individuals cannot read cursive, they are cursively illiterate in their own language. It also increases writing speed since the connectivity of a simple cursive style is faster to write than the stop and start strokes of printing. When learning cursive, forming letters by hand creates a connection with the movement of the hand to the visual response of seeing the letter on the page. This is called reading and writing concurrently, which is a necessary skill to learn. Learning cursive handwriting is important for spelling skills as well, enabling children to recognize words when they read them later. Typing doesn't have the same effect on the brain as it doesn't require the same fine motor skills and simultaneous activity. The fourth benefit is that it increases confidence. According to Dr. William Clem, the memory medic, cursive can make children more intelligent. Dr. Clem suggests cursive can provide similar benefits to the brain as learning to play a musical instrument. Also, for those struggling with dyslexia, cursive can be part of a treatment plan to help hand-eye coordination, memory, vision-related difficulties, and other brain activities. It also increases self-discipline. Cursive writing is complex and is inherently associated with the development of fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. Learning cursive prompts children to also develop self-discipline, which is a useful skill in all areas of life. So that wraps up the four benefits of cursive handwriting. Just to be fair, I also added three common cons to cursive handwriting as well. The first con is that typing is easier and faster. Of course, it just makes sense in our fast-paced world that typing, texting, or voice texting is preferable. It saves time and is more efficient. The second con is that it takes a long time to learn. Printed handwriting already takes quite a bit of time to learn, so naturally, cursive handwriting is going to take a bit of time as well, if not more. Unfortunately, due to the time commitment it requires, many teachers do not have the time to teach and hold guided practice sessions for their students to learn on top of all of the other mandated educational requirements. The third con is that it's not resourceful. This con is more for the tree huggers, which I am not implying there's anything wrong with loving trees since I do love them just as much as any other tree hugger out there. But the bitter truth is that any type of handwriting will require the use of paper or 
alternative surfaces to write on. Since it can take quite a bit of practice, that also means quite a bit of resources. So those are the three most common cons to learn how to write in cursive. Do you have any to add? I understand that not everybody will have the time and or discipline to learn how to actually write in cursive. As much as this saddens me, I think that it is okay to accept and let go as a compromise to our changing times. But I do not support the complete removal of cursive handwriting. I believe that the least that we can do is to teach people how to read it so that we don't lose that connection to many moments in history. So much of our world's history and literature is recorded in cursive, and any type of primary research will require the ability to read cursive in those original documents. Imagine being faced with a piece of document that's written in English, yet you cannot read it, and the reason has nothing to do with literacy, legibility, or native language. Before I conclude this video, I would like to point out that handwriting used to be viewed as a window into the soul. You can see hints of people's personalities through their writing. For example, someone can easily guess that a person has a preference to high order and organization through precisely executed handwriting. Or, more commonly experienced, is a hurried scrawled signature from your physician. Seeing someone's handwritten script gives you a small window into knowing something personal of the writer. So where do you stand on the cursive handwriting debate? Do you know how to write in cursive? And think it's a wise idea to keep passing it down to younger generations? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see all of you beautiful souls in the next video.